Good evening and welcome to the Wilberforce Quarantine Trick Shot Report. I'm your host, Jebediah Vandervoort, and currently many of you are wondering whether that is in fact my real name. I'm here alongside my co-host, Lydia Saladay. Thank you, Jeb. That's right, I am Lydia Saladay. And in case you've lost track of the days, today is March 77th. And to all the parents out there who are worried about too much screen time, never fear. Just mute this video right now and put the subtitles on. Boom. Now your kids are reading. Well, we have had quite a few excellent shots over the past few weeks, and we are here now to highlight the best of the best. To start it off, we have our 12th place shot from Brian in Morehouse. Brian really seems to be enjoying himself, and he even supplied his own soundtrack. Another tennis ball, got the wall. And I'm gonna chuck it at the wall. I'm gonna drop it into <laughs> I... The ball could have fallen into the bucket. And we're gonna win the competition. Okay, ready? <laughs> Valiant effort, Brian. But now for a breath of fresh air, we turn to our weather boy, Dominic Rainy Day Madigan. Dom? Looks like the competition is heating up because this next shot is fire. Thanks, Dom. Coming in 10th place, we have Danny from Thornton House. And all I can say is that this shot took pure brute force. For 9th place, we turn to our field reporter, Gavin White, who is currently on site to bring us this next shot. Gavin? Thanks, JB. I'm standing only feet away from where this next shot took place. Let's take a look. Yeah! My only question is, how did they get the ball down if he missed? My guess is, he didn't miss. We have a tie in seventh place between Emily in Thornton House and McLean in Venn House. For McLean's shot, we will send it back over to our weather boy, Dominic Rainy Day Madigan. Dom? Wow. These trick shots are snow laughing matter. Looks like we have some precipitation in the forecast because this next shot is soaking wet. Splash! Thanks, Dom. For Emily's shot, we will go back to our field correspondent, Gavin White, who is live in the field. That's right, I am here in the field. Outside. Again, outside. And this shot is a place. This shot is from Emily in Thorin House. This shot is a great display of an We are racing towards the top five now. But first, in sixth place, we have David Durini from Macaulay House. A little bird told me about this shot. Let's take a look. I'm sure that was exhausting, but I'd like to see a bit more on the celebration end than a In any case, very impressive. For fifth place, we turn again to our field correspondent, Gavin White. Gavin? I'm coming to you live where this next shot took place. This shot is remarkable, but what's even more remarkable is how you have a shirt with your name on it. Okay, we're going to be throwing the ball from Virginia's feet into that cup, so here we go. Yes! Thanks, Gavin. In fourth place, we have Adeline Edwards from Morehouse, and I think our sound crew had a bit too much fun with this one. We've made it to the top three, and these are some great shots. In third place, we have Jeremy Saladay from Macaulay House. 
I think I'll let Lydia walk us through this shot. This trick shot is being performed by Jeremy. He first knocks down the first bucket. Then he kicks it again and he knocks down the second bucket. That is why this trick shot is called double bucket. Finally he throws it. It's a crossbar. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now for second place, we'll toss it back over to our weather boy, Dominic Green and Dave Madigan. Dom? This is crazy. So far, no one has missed. You might want to dress warmly because this next shot is going to get pretty toasty. Looks like Chef William is the breadwinner here. He hails from Ben House. Good thing this shot didn't go awry. This shot really goes against the grain. Okay, I'm done. Let's see the shot. Okay, it's finally time to reveal the number one trick shot done by, well, our host himself. Coincidence? I think not! Let's take a look at some notable outtakes and funny shots while we calculate the results to reveal the winning house. In a shot that we all think is pretty great, 8th grader Maria Madigan watches her life flash before her eyes as she, well, take a look. Giving Maria a great taste. In the eye. Ninth grader Anna Christine shows off her cool moves as she threatens Michael Jordan's legacy in this next clip. Alright, so here I am for the trick shot competition and uh, this is a place where I practice basketball like every single day so I'm gonna do some fancy shots. We haven't used this hoop in like three years. It looks like the results from our four distinguished judges are in. In fourth place, we have Morehouse. Yes! In third place, Thornton House. In second place, we have Macaulay House, which means first place goes to Venn House. What a fantastic performance. Great job to everyone who submitted trick shots, and we look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you for joining us. I badly need a haircut. Good night.